Hey, welcome back to another video I'm making. Uh, this is for uh, Mod Manager 1.5. I'm just going to go over some of the new features and changes I've made in this version. Uh, to begin with, when you first run it, you will see a pop-up on here. It uh, goes over all the stuff about the Mod Manager and a reminder on how, how to set it up. There's still a lot of people having problems not setting it up properly and running it as administrator. You, you have to run it as an administrator with the changes in Windows lately. The, uh, it won't let you create the files and folders you need to to import the mods properly. And that's why you keep getting that those errors that say no, no folder found for the mod. Um, also has a link to my YouTube channel, which where you're at now. And a donate button. I uh, really appreciate donate donations. Uh, I end up just taking the money and buying stuff from the Unreal store to put back into my mods. So pretty much goes right back into the community. So I mean, if you like to use the software and you like using mods and playing the game, uh, we really appreciate donations. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into the new features. Uh, you'll see I have the old skin here, or the original skin. Uh, if you want to display the new skin, you can just go into the settings, right-click anywhere in here, and select Change Skin Folder. You'll open up your Mod Manager folder, <clears throat> excuse me, and look for a folder called New Skin. Open that up and select folder it'll ask you to restart for changes to take effect and when you restart you will see the new skin i uh, designed this to look as much as i could with the uh, newer version of icarus that they released it's got the new logo and the color scheme and the butt button systems um, and these are all changeable. If you can open that new skin and make a copy of that folder and change those. The buttons have to stay the same size, but you can change the images on them and change the color of any of the texts or fonts. Um, so that's the new changes to the skin. Uh, the big change that a lot of us have been working on is the database for all the mods. That uh, seems to be one of the biggest issues are people don't know where to get mods from. And then once they get them, getting them installed in the mod manager. So what I did was created we created a database here that lists all the current mods that have been released from our Discord. Uh, to update this database, it comes with the current version of the database in the files. Eh update it if you look at the upper right corner it says update local databases if you click on that you will see it down here on the left it's downloading any new images thumbnails and uh, all the data for the to update the mod list and then it will let you know that the databases have been uploaded to use this if you click display all mods in the upper left hand corner, it will display every mod that is currently added to the database. You can scroll down through them. You can search them. Uh, if you wanted, like if you're looking for the jump height mods, if you go down here and type in jump and then search description, it will list all the ones that have jump in the descriptions as you can see here the bear mount doesn't have jump in the small description but in the large description it should have it in there oh here we go yeah the bears don't jump so if it's in either one of the descriptions it will show up if you want to search by title you just type it in there and then you click title only and it will just search by title. So any 
mod that contains jump in the title. Uh, it doesn't have to have you know capital letters or anything like that. It searches just for the letters. Uh, to get out of this, you just go back in the upper left and click on display all mods. <clears throat> if there's a author that you're looking for, like you can see here, it has all the authors, uh, what week it's compatible with, the date it was created, and a short description. Uh, this is a long description, so some of the mods, like my bear mod that you've seen had the uh, larger description. So I'll show you how to do the authors, and then we'll find that one. So you'll see the author here. To filter by author, up here, if you click this, you can see it lists all the current authors. If you would select, like, say me, and then click filter, it will only list the ones that are by me. And then it's easy to find the mods that are by me. So here, this is what I was looking for earlier. It has a short description, allows the raising of cubs to full-grown bear mounts, and then it has the full description down here. Uh, if you're looking to install it, you can simply just click on it, and you'll see the icon show up, and then the list down here, click the download button, and you'll see it's starting to download, and it added it. If you look in the background here, you can see it added it to the mod manager already. So any mod that you want, uh, if you want the Easy Cave, you just download it, click the download, make sure it's selected. Uh, you can also double click. If you double click them, just make sure you're not double clicking more than one at a time because it will air out because it tries to download both files and import them at the same time. So if you double click it and then wait for it to finish, download another one, and you see they pop up made an Icarus mod manager right there. Um, so that's the basic use of it. Uh, like I said, you can search by any author. And then just click filter. See all the mods by those authors. So when you click the download or double click it, it will extract it and put it right in to your mod manager. Uh, when you're done with this, you can just close this. And as you can see, we have them installed right in our mod manager. So if you wanted to add, like say you wanted to add these three to the game, you would just double click them, add them to the list here on the right, and then click install all listed mods, and it will install all those mods in your game. Once this is done, it will pop up the pack screen, and then you'll see down here it says IMM Merge Mod was created. And over here on the right, this is your Icarus Mods folder. This is all the mods that are currently installed. You'll see it's the only mod installed, the IMM Merge Mod. So you can close it and play your game. So that's the major change that I've been working on for a long time for this version is being able to instantly download and install mods easily. Uh, one of the other features that I've added to this version is drag and drop. So say you download somebody's pack file, open up my downloads folder, and you have a uh, pack file here. You can just drag it and drop it right on there. And you'll see it installed it right into the mod manager. So there's, I am try to simplify as, as much as I can. So you can basically drag them anywhere on there and it will install them. So I hope this helps you guys out. Uh, if you enjoy using it, like I said, I do appreciate donations. Uh, please leave a uh, like, hit the like button and subscribe if uh, you want to see more videos.